Welcome back to another Outdoor Family Review. Today we're going to be looking at the Apple Watch 7. The first thing I want to show you is that every Apple Watch comes with this, but the Apple Watches come with two different size bands, which I think is awesome. Um, I think it's awesome that they come with two different bands because I have a small wrist and I got the 44 millimeter this time and the bands are all too big for it that I looked for on Amazon. So I can just switch to the smaller band and it fits my wrist great. So I do like that. Now let's take a look at the watch. The 7 is basically very similar to the 5 that I had. Um, it does have lots of Disney watch faces, which is fun, and s some of them talk. It's 12.35. Good afternoon. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Um, I really like this one. It has like lots of different scenes that go behind it every time you lift your watch up, um, which is fun. Now, the Apple Watch, I switched to it because I can change... Uh, answer the phone and answer text messages right on the watch and I could not do that on my Garmin. Um, I had a Garmin Phoenix 5 Sapphire um, which was great but and I could see that someone was texting me or calling me but then I still had to find my phone to answer it. Um, so I like I got switched to the Apple Watch for that reason. Plus it does all of the things that I need it to for exercise. I exercise but I'm not like crazy exerciser. So, I mean, I've got on here running, walking, yoga, outdoor cycling, indoor cycling, HIIT training, rowing, hiking, um, elliptical, strength training, even dance, functional strength training, swimming. So, I mean, there's a lot of things you can put in here. Pilates, Tai Chi. <laughs> I mean, like, there's a lot. And so it has everything that I need for exercise. Um, the texting has been upgraded a little bit in the seven. Um, now, instead of having to swipe in the square to write the letters, you actually have a keyboard here that you can use, which I like. Um, sometimes the swiping is faster and the keyboard things are pretty tiny, but the predictive text does help there. Um, so that's really great. The thing that I dislike about the Apple Watch, and it has gotten better in the 7, is the battery life. The battery life is terrible. Um, with the 5, it lasted me, I had to plug it in every night. And with the 7, I can get two days out of it if I don't exercise one of those days. Um, a day and a half if I exercise both of those days. So, you know, the sleep tracking is pretty much pointless with this watch. Um, but everything else is, uh, good for me. My husband actually switched from an Apple watch to the Garmin Phoenix seven because of the battery life. Um, everything else is pretty much the same though. Anyways, so if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I would recommend the Apple watch. It is quite expensive, but they all are pretty expensive so um whether whatever brand it is it's it's pretty expensive the, the garmin watches are as expensive as well so yeah um i have really enjoyed it the really only thing that they really need to improve on i mean it's a big difference so the apple watch gets two days of battery at most and for instance my husband's garmin gets 25 days before he has to charge his <laughs> so there's that anyway thanks for joining us. If you have any questions or comments, put them below and we'll see you next time.